When you see gymnastics in the Olympics, every flip and twist looks almost effortless. In reality, there's lots of physics working behind the scenes to allow gymnasts to perform these stellar tricks. Today we'll take a look at the motion of a gymnast on uneven bars, specifically on the skill called the giant circle, and see how it's affected by physics. The laws of motion govern a gymnast as she swings between the low and high bars. Before a gymnast starts her routine, she's motionless, but she has the ability to use her stored energy from food and turn it into kinetic and potential energy. Kinetic energy is energy in motion, and it relates to a gymnast's speed. Potential energy is energy that is stored in an object. This relates to a gymnast's height above the bar. The idea is for a gymnast to move seamlessly from skill to skill in order to save her useful energy and avoid exhaustion. This is necessary because the forces of friction and air resistance waste energy. Gymnasts typically wear grips on their hands to try and reduce friction between her hands, her hands and the bar. The gymnast can try to replenish her energy throughout her routine with carefully timed changes in the shape of her body. Newton's third law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When a gymnast is swinging bars, she pulls on the bar with a lot of force, so the bar pulls back with equal and opposite force. Gravity is also always pulling on a gymnast as she's on bars. Gymnastics takes a lot of arm strength because the forces on the arms of a gymnast are greater than her weight, and the forces become stronger as she circles the bar faster. Finally, as the gymnast dismounts, she travels at the arc of a falling object, and she lands feet first and uses her legs to turn her unused energy into thermal energy, or heat energy that comes up from the movement of tiny particles in an object so that she can come to a stop. For my essential question, I decided to look further into the physics of a skill called the giant. A giant is a skill in which the gymnast completes a full circle around one bar. It begins in handstand, swings downward through the bottom, and finishes again in handstand. Although a giant circle is not a true circle, it's as close as someone can get when faced with the opposing forces of gravity and friction. At the bottom of the swing, the gymnast taps to accelerate her lower body in order to overcome gravity and complete the skill. When I contacted Lou Bloomfield, a physics professor at the University of Virginia, he said that changing the shape of the swing, in this case, tapping under the bar, will help build up energy and therefore improve the giant circle and make it faster. At the point of the tap in the skill is when the bar is being pulled down with the most force. Because of Newton's third law, Pulling down on the bar at this moment is what then helps send you over the top of the bar. On uneven bars, you can never eliminate friction unless the gymnast releases her hands from the bar, that is. But in this skill, the gymnast should actually grip the bar tightly and then only loosen her grips to make it back over the top of the bar. To increase your chances of making it over the bar even more, it's important to move your center of mass closer to the center of rotation. A way a gymnast can do this is to bend their knees slightly as they're coming through the second part of the giant. Even though gymnasts may make their skills look easy, I hope you learned from this video that there really is lots of science and physics behind all the cool tricks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.